This place is so shiny. Yeah, and so are the people. Oh, there's no way these people are going to think our junk food is high class. Hmm, you might be right. SpongeBob, go find something to fancy up the food. Fancy. Got it, Mr. Krabs. Good. Now, I'll just get the lay of the land around here. I want my birthday cake! Neptune's ghost! I want my cake! I want my cake! Hey, kid, easy, easy. Just calm down, will you? I got your cake. You did? Yeah, yeah. Your birthday cake is right through here. Where? I don't see any. Seeing him again anytime soon. I want my birthday cake! Oh! <laughs> What do you think of this, Mr. Krabs? I call it Krabby Pate. Classy, huh? Serve it well, Todd Patrick. SpongeBob! Were those jewels on the patties? Yeah, you said fancy up the food, so I found some shiny stuff for garnish. Got a whole box. What the? SpongeBob, you can't just go around taking people's precious jewels. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. I was just doing what you told me. Oh, don't worry about it. Just tell me where you got them gems from. Oh, upstairs. I went left and right, then double and triple right, then down, up and right 18 more times. Then do four somersaults, a barrel roll, jump backwards twice, spin till you get sick. <laughs> and you're there. Okay. Fancy foods. Get your fancy foods here. Delicious. I love delicious stuff. My turn. <laughs> Mm, yummy! Yeah. I'll take a slice of that. Who wants food? I'm a mindless drone with food. Working for the man. Huh? <laughs> Let's do this thing. Hey, where you going? Oh, down here. I never heard about marching quintet. Uh -oh, wait for me. Wait, 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 wait for me. Wait, wait. Hey, hey. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, wee. That is one big water bed. Birthday cake! Stop Hi, Daddy! Don't call me that! And stop oh. jumping on that water bed, you pop it! Okay, Daddy! Oh. Get over here! Oh, you It's groovy, cats. I can dig it. Hmm. Turn away from me, huh? We'll just see. Oh, it's past eight. Where is SpongeBob? Hey, cool, 
crowd. What's shaking? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hipsters, it's Groovy Cats. Oh, I can dig it. Oh, welcome, man. You're the coolest customer we've ever had. Oh, crazy daddy, crazy. Can I sit you at the coolest table? No, thank you. I'm here to meet up with a real cool cat. Oh, there he is. Hey, Squidaroonie. Ah! You're with him? <laughs> yes, he's with me. And he is my best friend. You heard the man, folks. He's my best friend. Can you dig it? Huh? I guess he's cool. I don't know, man. Something smells lame. Hey, Cool Bob, why don't you sing everybody one of your swinging cool tunes? <laughs> oh, no, Daddy O, I really couldn't. <laughs> well, okay, maybe, maybe just, just one, one did it, then I'll get out your hair. I will accompany you on my licorice stick. <laughs> Just as I planned. <laughs> oh, would you care for a mute, sir? All the great jazz musicians use mutes. Hey, that's right, they do. Thanks, Daddy O. A one, a two, a bob bubble boo. At last, I'm cool. <laughs> Go on, go on. That was so cool, it caused structural damage. You gotta play some more for us cats. Don't leave us hanging. Nice. I uh, sorry, man. We're gonna bounce, you dig? <laughs> we gotta go spread some more joy, baby. But we'll be back tomorrow night to blow the roof back on. Yay! I'd like a Krabby Patty, please. This is a hotel now. If you want a Krabby Patty, you'll have to get a room and order room service. Okay, one Krabby Patty in one room with cheese. Oh, and can I get cheese on the Krabby Patty too? Patrick, you only live 400 yards away. Why do you want to check into a hotel? Sometimes I just need to get away from it all. Wow, this hotel has everything. Give me that. Now sign the register. I didn't know there'd be a test. I didn't study. Patrick, all you have to do is write your name. Oh, okay. Do you mind? Good luck! Oh, oh. Done! Close enough. Here's your room key. I'll need some help with my bags. How can you have bags? You just found out this is a hotel. This is a hotel? Oh, Spongebob! Yes, Squidward. Take Patrick and his bags to his room. What about my Krabby Patty? And bring him a Krabby Patty. Squidward, you can take Patrick's bags up to his room. Spongebob, you go make the Krabby Patty. Oh, Mr. Krabs! What's the matter? Afraid of a little manual labor? I'm Squidward, and I have to work for a living. <laughs> Fine! Let's go, Patrick. <laughs> This elevator is for guests only. Take the employee elevator. Ah! 
What's in these bags, rocks? Hey, these are rocks. Why is your suitcase full of rocks? Why don't tell you how to live your life? Well, here's your room. Wow. Enjoy your stay. A Squidward, wait. Keep up the good work and there'll be more where that came from. You're Krabby Patty, sir. Hey, Squidward. Cool rock. Hold on a second, SpongeBob. Here you are, my good man. Oh, thank you, Patrick. There's plenty more where that came from, my good friend. Squidward! What now? I don't like crusts on my sandwich. It's a bun. It's all crust. How am I supposed to cut the crust off a bun? Peel it. Happy. <laughs> Room service. Here's the 50 Krabby Patties you ordered. Could you do one more thing for me? Why don't you ask SpongeBob? Good idea, Squidward. How may I serve you, sir? I need you to eat these Krabby Patties with me. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Hold on. Squidward, Patrick needs your help. What? Why didn't he ask me before I walked all the way downstairs? He said he didn't want to bother you, but he got over it. Hooray! Thanks, Squidward. Mr. Krabs, this is ridiculous. Patrick's being completely unreasonable. He can be as unreasonable as he wants. The plaque, Squidward, the plaque. But Mr. Krabs, deny no guest. Well, hello, Patrick. You need Squidward to come up right away? He'll be right there. A bubble bath? Why would I give you a bubble bath? Well, because Mr. Krabs said you would. I'll be sure to make my back extra shiny clean. That's it! I've had enough! Squidward, wait! The toilet's backed up again! Hey! Hey, you can't take that elevator! You're an employee! Not anymore. I quit. Quit? You can't quit. <laughs> to the crusty Tower Squidward. One room, please, on the top floor. What do you think you're doing? I need a vacation. I'm overworked. And what better place to relax than Krusty Towers, where we shall never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. I don't have to rent you a room. I've got cash. Here's your room key. SpongeBob, carry my things to my room. Aye, aye, guest, sir. Oh, this restaurant is so fancy. Even the silverware's made of velvet. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing's too good for my puffy kids. Madame and Monsieur, your menu. Thank you. These prices! <laughs> and what would Mademoiselle desire? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Krabsy Wabsy? Uh, the water looks delicious, Puffcake. Such <laughs> <laughs> kidder. <laughs> Monsieur and I will have the kelp consomme mm. to start. Oh. Start? Followed mm. by the sargasso salad. <laughs> <laughs> and the sweet and sour algae. Ah, uh, may I suggest the coral jubilee for dessert? It's our most expensive item. Oh, yes. We must try that, Eugene. We'll take two. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> of course. Excellent choice, mademoiselle. <laughs> Do something, Krabs! You're gonna go broke! <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'll get soup all over me nice suit, and our meal will be free! One last thing to try! Uh, waiter, there's an eyelash in me soup. Oh, my dear, how revolting. Yeah. Sp 
SpongeBob! Oh, bonjour, Mrs. Puff! Mr. Krabs said if I came along, we'd all get a free meal. Eugene! <laughs> this is so embarrassing! <laughs> Wait! <clears throat> Your bill, sir? Do you take Krusty Krab coupons? <laughs> 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 Sweetie Bunch, your little Quincy is so sorry! Once again, you ruined our whole evening by being cheap! I thought you cared about me! I do! We'll make it up to you, Honey Biscuit! Tomorrow night at my house, we'll have the most romantical and fancy type meal you ever tasted! All right, but it had better be perfect! <laughs> Mr. Krabs, you forgot your soup. <laughs> SpongeBob, I got another little job for you tomorrow night. The next evening. SpongeBob, you're cooking a fancy pants dinner for me and Mrs. Pup. I came prepared, Mr. Krabs. Whoa! Fancy pants for a fancy meal. Ah, SpongeBob can't cook anything but Grease Trap Mark. He's not a gourmet like moi. Not true! I can cook fancy food. I once made a Krabby Patty with three buns. You make a good point, Squidward. That's why you're gonna use your highfalutin knowledge to supervise him. Of course. Hey, that actually smells tasty. Hooray! Uh... <laughs> 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 Just let me check the quality, my dear. I want my grub, Bob. I'm famished. That's not food. That's SpongeBob. <laughs> What do you guys think? Huh? Sweet duds, huh, Patrick? <laughs> sure are. Ahem. For a baby. Well played, Patrick. Well played. May I take your hat and cane, sir? Why, certainly. Enjoy your evening, gentlemen. Also have milk and cookies. Oh, are those chocolate chip cookies? Can I? Patrick, I'm sure you'd rather have some tetrazzini we grown ups ordered, right? Duh. Yeah, Squidward. I'm frankly shocked they serve such elementary fare here. Indeed. And my personal favorite piece is this lovely statue from the Rivazons era. Boring. Boring. Oh. Uh, no, I uh, said flooring. The flooring complements the artwork here exquisitely. Yes, well, I suppose it does. SpongeBob, get down from there right now! Don't worry, guys, I'm okay. Really, I'm okay. No! 
All fixed, guys. Security! Please be gentle! <laughs> That's weird. I thought I was gonna get tossed out on my... <laughs> Seats. Uh, I mean, this seat choice is most mature. Certainly more so than that rapscallion sponge, whose name we shall not mention, who would have picked. Certainly. The <laughs> most exemplary performance. Uh, Oh, oh, it gets even more thrilling from here. What the? She's beautiful. There once was a man from Nantucket. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Um. Dear friend, don't say that it's all That it's all over. My heart bounces on rocks, jagged and gray. <laughs> Dear friend, don't say that it's all over. It's stay pals. What do Urchin's supposed to get any sleep with all these salty tears falling on him. I gotta get out of here. Excuse me, come and go. They watch it, mister. Sad lady, how do I get out of this joint? Exit stage left, he is that away. Thanks, cutie. Nice hat. Hey, stop that beard! Patrick, it's not a beard. It's a sea urchin. It must have been sleeping on your face until your tears awoke it from its hibernation. How do you know my name? Because, Mr. Patrick Star, Hugh told me. SpongeBob! Patrick! Oh, please, you can call me Patrick. <laughs> Empty your mind. Empty my mind. Empty your mind of everything that doesn't have to do with fine dining. Fine dining and breathing. Just got an order from the boss. Dump everything that isn't about fine dining. Everything? Everything. Come on, come on, come on. What do you think I'm paying you for? You don't pay me. We don't even exist. We're just a clever visual metaphor used to personify the abstract concept of thought. One more crack like that and you're out of here. No, please! I have three kids. You are the man. How do you feel? This isn't working! I gotta go tell Squillium I need more time! I'll just go to Squillium's house and tell him you're here! Hello, Squiddy! We're all ready to be dazzled by your five-star restaurant! Wait, Squillium, I've gotta explain! Explain what? That you, Squidward Tentacles, voted most likely to suck eggs in high school, are trying to pass off a lousy burger stand as a five-star <laughs> restaurant. Table for Hamana? I can seek you immediately. How did you do all this? It was easy, once I cleared my mind. But what about Krabs and Patrick? Taken care of. Right this way, please. Yes. 
Good evening, sir. From our menu tonight, might I recommend the Krabby Newberg? We take the finest cuts of aged imported kelp, stuff them with herbs from our garden, wrap them in parchment with our award-winning shallot tapenade, slow roast them for six hours in our wood-fired clay-filled oven, or kiva, and serve them with a garnish of wilted coral on a mahogany plank. Mm. This is fantastic. Thank you, sir. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Ow! If you need anything else, just call. SpongeBob, I can't thank you enough for all you're doing. Fine dining and breathing are all I know how to do. It worked. I can't believe it. Squilliam thinks I own a five-star restaurant. Time to rub it in his face. Well, Squilliam, I'm waiting. All right, I admit it. Everything is fabulous. The food, the atmosphere, everything's flawless. In that case, I need you to read this. Uh, Squidward Tentacles. And I need you to wear this. Oh, uh, Squidward Tentacles has the fanciest... I'm sorry, one more time. Squidward Tentacles has the fanciest restaurant in Bikini Bottom. And he does not suck eggs. Squidward, I must tell you. Thank you. What really won me over was your brilliant waiter. It's as if all he knows is fine dining and breathing. I must know your name. My name? Yes, your name, son. Uh, Beef Wellington? <laughs> no, your name. Ah, uh, uh, the fork on the left? <laughs> Stop joking. Tell him your name. My name? What's his name? What's his name? I got nothing on a name. Come on, baby, what's the name? into that. Ah! More soup for your armpits? <laughs> Please enjoy the food. Ah! Would you like some cheese on that, sir? Run for your lives, everyone! It's the appetizer! Gentlemen. Hello. I couldn't help noticing what a lovely ball that is. Oh, really? Yes. I'd sure like to get a closer look. We don't mind, do we, Patrick? Well, just don't take too long. We were just about to start playing with it. Oh, it, uh, it won't take long at all. Ooh, it's heavier than I imagined. And, uh, shinier, too. Where'd you find it? We found it deep in jellyfish fields. Really? What was it doing there? Choking a clam. Well, um... <clears throat> What would you say if I were to offer you a small fortune in exchange for your shiny ball? What do you mean, small fortune? Whoa. How many more trucks do you think there'll be, Patrick? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I am getting kind of hungry, though. <sighs> yes? Uh, I'm here to see SpongeBob. And are you on the guest list, sir? No, uh, I don't think so. Normally, I... Well, then I'm afraid I can't let you in, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Uh, your shoe's untied. Oh, why, so it is. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And so he was like, do you want to buy some ice cream? <laughs> ice cream, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I love that story. Uh, hey, guys, have you seen SpongeBob around? Is that guy talking to us? Just don't move or breathe. He might go away. <laughs> SpongeBob? SpongeBob! Hey, pal, watch it. I could buy and sell you. And I said, go ahead, let's do it right now. I got too much hair anyways. 
SpongeBob! SpongeBob! That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> SpongeBob, I gotta tell you something I think you should know. Your house is full of strangers. Oh, Patrick, these aren't strangers. These are 497 of my closest friends. Right, everybody? Yeah! That's right! Yeah! yeah! Patrick, do you hear that? That? It's the sound of love. SpongeBob, if you keep throwing your money away like that, you won't have any left and then... Excuse me, sir. Is this man giving you trouble? SpongeBob! Uh, like I was saying... But... We don't want any trouble. Now just keep moving. Dude, how did you get in there? And I told him, it's not that I mind the macaroni. What I mind is... Sorry about that, SpongeBob. Won't happen again. No matter, he's simply jealous of my glamorous new lifestyle. Say, that reminds me. Can I have some money? Why, certainly. I always remember to... Oh, I forgot. I keep it in this other pocket. Uh, will you please excuse me for a moment? I hope this doesn't put a damper on things, but I just checked and, well, it's just that all my money is gone. Don't be late for work tomorrow, boy. Hey, Patrick. Oh, hey, SpongeBob. What you doing? Oh, the same thing us sea stars are usually doing, I guess. Laying up against a rock. Patrick. I was wrong. About what? The money. And about those people being my friends. There is no right or wrong when it comes to that stuff, SpongeBob. There just either is or there isn't. Patrick, if having a bunch of money makes me forget that you're my best friend, then I don't want any more money ever again. Well, why did you say so, buddy? I've been waiting for someone to go break in my new volleyball with. You got another new volleyball? Yep, I found it. Found it where? Inside the bikini bottom diamond mine. <laughs> the Krabby Patties, they taste so nice that they taste nice. <laughs> Hey, that was my slogan. Great stuff, huh? This guy is gonna be a star. I'm already a star. That's the attitude. Hey, SpongeBob, now that I'm finished doing whatever it is I'm doing, you wanna go play? Uh, sorry, Yellow Box. Patrick has to make a personal appearance at the mall. Hi. Done. Will this commercial really help me make money? You need to call your bank, Krabs, because they are gonna have to build an extra vault to hold all the extra money. I do declare, Mr. Grouper, I believe I have a case of the vapors. I told you, call me Don. <laughs> going up. I'm going to a party. A party to celebrate my friend's upcoming 400th commercial. Uh-huh. I brought ice cream. Me and my best friend are going to share the ice cream. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get a chance to share pans. Ah, again? You should get out. Now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, uh, Patrick, did you order something through the mail? Because a yellow box just arrived for you. SpongeBob! Hey, Patrick. Oh, I'm sure glad you made it to my party. Uh, excuse me, yellow box. Are you feeling a little overheated? Because I do, I say I do believe you are melting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I should get this in the freezer. Patrick, where's the kitchen? Oh, I don't know. It's just past the solid gold gym. Take a ride at the zoo. Well, come with you, SpongeBob. He can find the kitchen by himself. The breast needs some photos of you with your new mascot friends. 
Right here, Patrick. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. One more. One Patrick, more. Right baby, here. sweetheart. Right Have you thought about that feature right film I pitched you? There you go. That's the right spot. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's it! I can't take it anymore! Everybody out! <laughs> I wish things could go back to the way they were. Mm. I just want to be able to share one pair of pants with my best friend without it being in the papers! Freshly grilled Krabby Patty, you and I are going to save the world! And save a friendship. Patrick! Spongebob! Patrick, the frozen patties are made with sand! Spongebob! What? Patrick, the frozen Krabby Patties are made with sand! I thought they tasted familiar! <laughs> Spongebob? <laughs> missed you. I missed you too. I got something for you. From one friend to another. No, no, I don't want to eat another one of those things. <laughs> now that's a real Krabby Patty. Oh, as delicious as our real friendship. Now that we saved our friendship, we have to save the reputation of the Krabby Patty. But I have to speak at a shareholders meeting tonight. How am I going to say nice things about frozen patties now that I know they're filled with sand? Well, Patrick, you're just going to have to listen to your heart and your stomach. Thank you, everyone, for coming to this gala event celebrating the meteoric success of Frozen Krabby Patty. In honor of this momentous occasion, we are going to premiere our 400th commercial. And here to say a few words is the face of the Frozen Krabby Patty, our own Patrick Starr. Come on up, Patrick! The other ones. I know you're all excited to see the 400th commercial, but before we see it, I just want to say that that frozen Krabby Patties are made with sand. That was cute when you were rich. I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, musty old book smell. Now read the words, Patrick. Oh, read the. Oh, uh, once upon a. Uh, once upon a. Once upon a what? To continue the story, you have to turn the page. Oh. Time! Once upon a time! <laughs> oh, that's the most amazing trick I've ever seen! I want to stare at more words! Then feast your eyes!
Yes, SpongeBob. Uh, Patrick, I think that's enough knowledge for one day. Looks like you're full. Nonsense, dear boy. One can never accumulate too much information. <clears throat> well, we're fresh out of books. Come on, I'll buy you an ice cream. Ah, I must confess to feeling more than slightly peckish. Hmm? Patrick, I'm so proud of you. Ooh, you're a big brain now. <laughs> oh. A skosh too big, it seems, eh, what? Eh, what, what? <laughs> oh, no matter, my plebeian friend. I shall simply exit post-haste. Posterior first. <laughs> Whoa, you really got your melon jammed in there, didn't you? <laughs> True, SpongeBob, uh, but we can easily solve this problem on a quantum physics level. Take this down. If we reduce my subatomic particles by way of orbital electromagnetism, it will create a harmonic oscillation within the molecules, resulting in a wave function collapse, which will enable my melon, as you so drolly put it, to slip out. Okay, sure. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Gary! Speak to me! Oh. oh, Gary, you're back. I'd know that slime anywhere. Perhaps because I had to smarten up to get stuck. You'll need to dumb down to get free! <laughs> Who's sporting the big brain now? <laughs> All right, Patrick, let's get stupid! <laughs> Why are you? What I do? <laughs> Why are you? What I do? Patrick, the mindless drivel is destroying your knowledge! Whoops! Here, Patrick, you may need this little fella. <sighs> What is this rubbish? I would not wrap my own bottom with this. Stay up over. And this. I would not wash my own bottom with this after carefully wiping and wiping and wiping. Now go stand in the corner and think about what you have done. And where is my exchange ship? Um, right here, sir. <laughs> there you are. Bonjour. Ooh. <laughs> now. Get to your station and prepare me your best dish! <laughs> this is not funny, and I certainly did not exchange my top sous chef for a, how you say, comedian! <laughs> Spare me a gourmet dish? No! I'm sure with all my years in the kitchen, I can make something other than... <laughs> Just warming up! <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob! <laughs> Just one egg and... <laughs> No! Oh, yeah. No, that's not it either. Uh, you are making a mockery of mine! <laughs> this taste is... is fantastic! What do you call it? A Krabby Patty. The whole world must taste this!
Meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab. Hey, Squidward! Look at this! We're charging 52 smackaroons for this little guy! Oh, what is that? <laughs> I don't know! Some kind of bean paste or something. Oh, monsieur! It is the rare fruit of the kazook tree. So... It's supposed to smell like rotten gym socks? Its naturally rancid odor can only be neutralized by shredded gold. Uh, shredded gold? <laughs> Couldn't we use less expensive ingredients? Press can be no object when dealing with exquisite food like this. It must be prepared with only the finest ingredients and eaten with only the finest silverware while sitting on the finest furniture. This is not the chair I ordered. Yeah, well, you see, those were out of stock. And this fork of plastic, spray painted to look silver, is it not? <laughs> I cannot prepare food under these conditions! Monsieur SpongeBob, although it is in direct violation of the Chef Exchange program rules, let me assure you that these kisses are not merely a formality, they are genuine! <laughs> I am sure that this is only the beginning of a long... Well, my time here is up. I'm officially a Krusty Krab employee once again. I apologize, Monsieur SpongeBob, but you see my customers have grown rather fond of your Krabby Patties. Oh, the Krabby Patties! I almost forgot. These babies also belong to the Krusty Krab. So long! Oh, wait, just one more. I'm sorry, but I got to go. Oh. 